Hi there, my name is Miko, and I'm going to show you how to use this website, Cat Game Crafting Calculator. The website URL will be in the text below. To be clear, I did not make this site. All credit goes to the developer. But I know some people find it a bit complicated to use, so I'm going to demonstrate. There are two sections to this site. One is for event crafting, and one is for normal crafting. You get to them through the tabs up here. Normal crafting is your regular tower of crafting. I'm going to focus on event crafting, but I assume the normal crafting works in a similar way. To start with, you need to figure out which of your base materials for the event is your double mat. There's always one material you need twice as much of, and it's random each time. To find out which one is yours this month, go into your shop and look at the mat requirements to make each of the Tier 1 crafts. One of them will require 8 materials instead of 4. For the demonstration, I'm going to say that B is my double mat, so I click here to select it. You can see it's now outlined. Now I want to find out how much of the items I need to craft something. Let's see how much I need to craft the first cat in the room. I go to this drop down box and select cat 1. Then I click add. It will populate the boxes with everything needed to make that cat. But really I want to craft the whole room. So I'm going to clear so that it doesn't count cat 1 twice. Go back to the drop down box, select all decorations and cats, and add that. You can see there's more things in the boxes. Now go down to where it says crafting time. This will tell the calculator how much time you want it to take to make everything. There are a couple of small issues with this. The calculator will always try to make things the cheapest way possible. So if you tell it that you have three days, it will assume you're going to spend all of those three days crafting and tell you to make every mat one at a time because that's the cheapest way. You want to tell it the amount of time you plan to actually spend doing the crafting. It also thinks you can start making item D right away even though you don't have any of item A, B, or C yet. Plus, it assumes that, like it, you are a computer, and will start each next batch exactly as the previous one finishes. So, you want to enter a time that is at least 15 minutes less than you actually have available, since that's how long it takes to make the first round of item A, B, and C. I usually put in half an hour less to give myself some leeway if I miss the end of a crafting round by a minute or two. Let's say I'm going to spend three hours crafting. I put in three here and remove the one minute. For now, we'll ignore the boost number, but I'll come back to that. Click on Calculate Now. At the bottom of the page, you will now see how much of everything you need from the raw materials to the final items. These numbers are absolute totals. That means the number of item A shown here includes the ones that you need to make the number of item D shown here. You do not need to have all of item D and all of item A. On the right side, it shows you the suggested batch sizes. Ignore the ones for the raw materials, since you don't actually craft those. Using these batch sizes is the cheapest way to get everything you need in the time you specified. You can also see it shows the number of tokens required for this crafting. Note that this does not include the tokens you need to actually buy the finished cats and decos, so take that into account. If you've got boosts active, that changes your approach a little bit. Your length of time becomes the length of time the boost is active, less that leeway time. 
your boost goes in here. So let's say I've got a boost of 20. If I hit calculate now, you can see the total went down quite a lot. That's pretty much the basics of how to use the site. If you're an overachiever like me, and you want to make as many stars as you possibly can, but don't know how many that might be, I've developed a hack to get an estimation of how many stars you can afford to make. As I said before, I'll use the length of my boost party less half an hour or so to give me some leeway. So if my boosts are going to last for three hours, I will put in two hours and 30 minutes. Now here's the tricky part. In a boost party, the boost multiplier starts out high and drops every so often as the shorter boosts run out. There's no way to tell this calculator that your boost number will change over time. So we need to estimate the average the boost will be. I usually estimate about half, but if you've got more short boosts than long, you want to lower the number. If you've got more long than short, you might be a little higher than half. If you've only got a very few long ones, I would use the shorter time as your time available. Remember that when you're making stars, you're crafting one item that is worth three stars. That means you're actually making three stars at a time. When you decide how many extra stars you want to make, it must be a multiple of three. Let's say I want to do 3,000 extra stars. I would enter the number 1,000 here. Now I will calculate. And it gives me the total number of tokens needed to craft the base materials for 1,000 three-star items in the amount of time I have specified. Remember, this total does not include the tokens you need to actually buy the three-star items. Each three-star item is 300 tokens. So you take this number you've entered, multiply it by 300, and add that to the total cost. Now you have your real total cost. What I do to figure out how many stars I could make is I keep increasing this number until the total cost plus the cost of the stars is somewhere around the total number of tokens that I have. I usually err on the side of caution just in case I was over generous with my estimation of my average boost. Don't be the person who spends all their tokens crafting the mats and then can't afford to tap the stars. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and that you find the calculator site as invaluable as I do. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Happy crafting!